This video was made possible by Brilliant. Learn for free for two months by being one of the first 200 people to sign up at brilliant.org slash HAI. The US has tons of totally reasonable laws that ban things like owning a tank, having a brown bear as a pet, owning a grenade launcher. Oh wait, sorry, it's the other way around. Your pet bear can legally do grenade launcher practice from your tank as long as he's not using the tank's radio while riding through Green Bank, West Virginia. That would make this illegal. You see, because of this rectangle, in Green Bank, West Virginia, tank riding, grenade firing, radio using pet bears are illegal, which frankly I believe is a violation of our basic human rights. This rectangle is the United States National Radio Quiet Zone, or near cruise, which exists because right here is a super big radio telescope. In fact, it's the biggest movable radio telescope in the world. It's the Green Bank Telescope. This baby's got a 100 meter diameter collecting area, an equatorial mount, an off-axis paraboloid reflector. Basically, it's a really good radio telescope. All right, 60 seconds of science time. So basically, radio signals, popcorn popping microwave waves, the light coming off your eyes right now, the UV light the sun uses to turn you into a tomato, and the x-ray the TSA uses to look at your bombs, those are all the same things. I know you learn this in high school physics and are very, very smart, but to review, these are all electromagnetic waves just at different wavelengths and energy levels. Now, normal telescopes that just magnify what you can see are used to see things in space that you can actually see, but this telescope is used to see things that you can't see outside the range of waves that eyes can see, you see, and it turns out you can see a lot of things in space by looking at radio waves. You can detect stars, find gravitational waves, look for water on comets, find aliens, but like actually, but they don't need the Wi-Fi you use to order Weetabix getting in the way, so that's why this rectangle exists. To make sure that as few other radio waves are around the telescope so it has the best chance to detect the radio waves from space. You might notice that this is a big rectangle, and it is, it's bigger than Belgium, but Wi-Fi isn't banned in all of it. For most of the zone, there are just restrictions that prevent radio stations and other broadcasters from using high power transmitters. The next level of restrictions are circle shaped, like the Earth. At 10 miles out, you're not allowed to use anything emitting more than 9 microvolts per meter. At 9 miles out, you're not allowed to use anything emitting more than 8 microvolts per meter, and 7 microvolts, 6, and so on and so forth until here, 2 miles out, where you're not allowed to use anything that emits radio waves that would get in the way of the telescope, including Wi Fi, cell phones, and microwave ovens. The town of Greenbank falls within these restrictions, and these 10 to 2 mile circles are also where you start to see cell service disappear. These restrictions are also actual law. They're in the West Virginia Code, and breaking the results in actual consequences. For each day someone uses a violating piece of electronics within the zone, they're fined $50, but as you get closer to the telescope, the restrictions get even more restrictive. Within this zone, the area where most of the telescope's employees live, anything wireless is prohibited. Any other electronics have to be in shielded rooms that will prevent radio waves from escaping. Then finally, this area is the most restrictive. No electronics are allowed unless they're necessary and approved by the observatory. More interestingly, only diesel-powered cars are allowed as the spark plugs in gas motors emit trace amounts of radio waves. Most interestingly, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Given the rather unique laws, some rather unique people have flocked to Green Bank. We're not talking about Canadians, we're talking about electrosensitives. About a third of the town's residents are these electrosensitives, people who believe that radio waves make them sick. The scientific proof for the legitimacy of such an illness is about as limited as the proof that Elon Musk isn't two 12 year olds in a trench coat, but still, Green Bank is a haven for those who want to avoid electromagnetic waves. It's about the only inhabited modern place in the world with so few electromagnetic waves in the air. There are only a few things that I can think of more crazy than believing that electromagnetic waves, which have existed since the beginning of the universe, make you sick, among them being living in Jacksonville, Florida, believing juice is good for you, and not having a Brilliant.org account. There's honestly so much relevant to this video you can learn, like about radio waves and how light works, but there's also a whole course on astronomy from which you can learn the fundamentals of this fascinating field. Brilliant is the best place to learn complex topics like astronomy because they break down these topics into easily understood understandable bites explained through graphics, simple explanations, and thought-provoking questions. They make the complex simple. They also have loads of other great courses, and you can take any of them for free for two months by being one of the first 200 people to sign up at brilliant.org slash H-A-I.